femoral triangle is a triangular depression on the front of the upper one third of the thigh. It lies just immediately below the inguinal ligament. It is also known as Scarpa's triangle. In this video, we will learn about femoral triangle, its boundaries, contains, and also we will see about femoral sheet and femoral canal. Boundaries of femoral triangle. It is bounded laterally by the medial border of sartorius muscle. On the medial side, we will have the adductor longus muscle. And the base will be formed by the inguinal ligament as femoral triangle lies just below it. Hence, we saw two borders and the base. Coming on to the apex. Apex is formed at the place where there is crossing of both the medial as well as the lateral boundaries. Roof of the femoral triangle. We will remember it by visualizing the dissection. As we dissect the lower limb, we will first see the skin. Then we will find the superficial fascia. But in femoral triangle, the superficial fascia will contain some of the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve and some of the branches of ilioinguinal nerve. We will also see superficial branches of femoral artery along with the accompanying veins. And the upper part of great saphenous vein will also be seen here. After superficial fascia, we will find deep fascia. And inside the deep fascia, we have the cribriform fascia. The main function of cribriform fascia is to cover the saphenous opening. The floor of the femoral triangle is formed by muscles. And from medial to lateral they are adductor longus, pectineus, iliacus and psoas major. Hence, we are done with the boundaries. Coming on to the contents. The contents of the femoral triangle are femoral artery and its branches. The femoral artery in femoral triangle gives off six branches out of which three are superficial and three are deep. The next one we have is femoral vein along with its tributaries. And the femoral vein in femoral triangle receives the great saphenous vein too. The third one is the femoral nerve. The femoral nerve in femoral triangle also gives some of its branches and some of them visible there are lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and nerve to pectineus. The next one is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. And last, we have the deep inguinal lymph nodes. Hence, this all are the contents of the femoral triangle. Moving on to the femoral sheet. Femoral sheet is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia which encloses the upper 3 to 4 cm of the femoral vessels. Now, you may wonder that how is femoral sheet formed? It is formed by the downward extension of the two layers of fascia of abdomen. Anteriorly, we have the extension of fascia transversalis and posteriorly, we have extension of fascia iliaca. What is covered by femoral sheet? The femoral sheet encloses femoral artery, femoral vein, femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve and some of the lymph nodes.
But remember one thing that femoral nerve is not enclosed by femoral sheet. Seeing some of the MCQs, which of the following is not the content of femoral triangle? And the correct answer is superficial inguinal lymph nodes. The second one is what is not enclosed by femoral sheet? And here you are right. It is femoral nerve. In this picture, you can clearly spot femoral sheet, femoral triangle. But on the medial side of the femoral sheet, you can see somewhat conical shaped structure. And that is femoral canal. The base or upper border of femoral canal is known as femoral ring. And femoral canal contains some of the lymph nodes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe.